four of these will be a gallon of water. Another good rule of thumb is uh, you can Greetings, this is Body Culinary, and I'm here today to share with you about hydration. So, um, you know, there are recommendations for how much water we should drink. Some people say a gallon, especially if you're going to a gym. It's not uncommon to see uh, bodybuilders walking around with a gallon of water. So this would be a gallon of water. Um, sometimes I've watched people force guzzling um, water. But of course, most of our body is made of water, so we want to make sure that we're hydrated. But I just want to give you a, a visual, right? These are some bottles that I have saved from some organic um, cider vinegar, so you're not spending all the time for expensive um, bottles that I've recycled. And each one is almost a liter of 32 ounces. So that would be four of these will be a gallon of water. Another good rule of thumb is uh, you can take your body weight and divide it in half. You want to be at having at least that amount, amount of water. Now when we speak of um, hydration, and this is two, half, two of these are going to make one gallon. So that's quite a bit of water. So um, we don't want to be forcing it in all at one time at the end of the day because um, we fail to get water in the course of the day. But one of the most, um, I think, significant areas of hydration that we can get is, is Mother Nature's living water from fresh fruits and vegetables, right? It's the best water because you know, it's already filtered by Mother Nature. Um, and these are some excellent examples. Um, I'm someone that used to juice a lot of fruit juice many years ago, but I think um, these are excellent choices in terms of eating your hydration because there's so much nutrients also packed into a small place. So you've got a living water with fiber and antioxidants and nutrients in it. So we want to make sure that we're getting a lot of hydration in our food. So if you're eating lots of breads and pastas or things that can sit on a shelf for many months, um, quite often there may not be a lot of uh, hydration or water, right? If it has uh, salt in it, uh, to pull out all of the water so that it can sit on a shelf for months, then most likely it's going to dry you out. So to make sure we're getting plenty of hydration inside of our foods, I just wanted to give you um, a visual on what and also um, when we wake up. Um, I have some Jamaican limes here. One of the first things that we can do, we hear it all the time, my grandfather used to do it, my grandma Lou, is take the juice of half to a whole lime and squeeze it inside one of these and finish it as soon as we get up in the early day. So, that's some um, hydration. Let me know what your thoughts are on hydration, what you're doing to keep your body hydrated, your skin nice and soft and everything moving in the system. All right, create a great day. How would you like to be free from eating animal flesh, animal products, and be released once and for all from junk food addiction? all with delicious, whole, fresh, plant-based alternatives. Contact me for coaching and living foods preparation classes. Peaceful food cruelty free to your body temple, the animals, and the environment. Check the bodyculinary.com website. See you soon.